Penn State. That will start with the serve, and doing that serve is the freshman Jillian Grimes as we are underway here in Rack Hall. First time through right at the net. Penn State getting some noise from Trammell. Across the pin, they work it into the back. Here's Weatherington powering through, and she gets the first kill. Weatherington really has a great approach coming from that right side. She's able to just graze the fingertips of the Wolverines, which is a great strategy in order to keep the ball out of the Wolverines' control. Grimes back to serve once again. Ten service aces on the season for the freshman for Penn State. Back on the Nittany Lions side, they go right back to Weatherington trying to take some off, but finds the net. Well, just as we had talked about Weatherington's great approach on the last play, this one, they've had some issues as a team with approaches and miscommunications with their setting ability, so it's something to watch out for. Jess Robinson with the serve now for Michigan. She works it into the back row. Right down the center for Penn State, Taylor Trammell picks up her first kill of the match. Taylor Trammell is another one that when you pair her with Zoe Weatherington, both in that middle and outside position, is just a lethal opportunity for Penn State to, uh, to capitalize on. Trammell, the junior Purdue transfer, has been a huge addition to this Penn State team this season as Villanovic sends it over for the Nittany Lions. Locked at the net. And it'll be a violation against Michigan as the point is awarded to Penn State. Definitely Hannah Grant did not look too happy with that call there. She just was diving for the ball. Setting violation will send it back to Villanovic. Junior Libero from Independence, Ohio. Sends it across. Down the center. And into the back row is Kendall Murray picking up her first kill for Michigan. The back Another look there for Murray. Just about to say the back row attack coming just behind that 10 foot line is a great opportunity for the Wolverines to catch the Nittany Lions off guard. As it's a play that normally if, it, if the Nittany Lions are anticipating the middle blocker, the outside hitter, it's a great way to catch them off guard. Service air from May Protofsky. The first service error of the day for the Wolverines. We'll give the point back to Penn State as it looks like Cassie Kirshen will check in here for the Nittany Lions and she will take the serve as Zoe Weatherington makes her way towards the Nittany Lion bench. Kirshen, the Knoxville, Tennessee libero and defensive specialist sends it over the net. Across, but Jackie Boney is met right at the net. Penn State gets the block. Just another look there as Boney trying to bring it across. Trying to split that defense, but that Penn State blocking right there at the net to slow it down. Skirshen sends it back over. Diagonal attack from Merzik. There's the first kill of the day for Jess Merzik. She is dangerous for the Wolverines. Merzik has a very fast approach. You don't see her hang in the air for way too, for very long. She's able to really get on top of the ball, get a good handle on it, and get that top spin that's really difficult to return. Leads these Wolverines with just over three and a half kills per set this season. But coming through is Allie Holland, the junior for Penn State, picks up the point. Allie Holland is one of those swings that I like to call a one-two punch. She's up in the air and the ball is down on the hardwood in what's is seemingly second. She's got a great swing behind her. Tough to defend, of course, as Penn State back in on the offensive side. Into the back row, chasing it down, Elisaya. Right back down the middle, but kept up by the Wolverines. They're not gonna find it over the net as Penn State picks up the point. Good kill for Angelina Stark. It was a pair of back row attacks there, really well executed by Stark. She's really able to just get on top of the ball and find that sweet spot right just inches past the 10 foot line. Stark to serve once again into the back row. Down the middle, blocked at the net by Penn State. Right down the middle is Stark once again. Michigan able to maintain it, they'll set a free ball. Set by Elisaya. Holland going with the cross-court kill. 
Back through for Murray. Excellent rally is down to the floor. Goes Williams to keep it alive. Villanovic, and Williams puts it over. And Penn State will take the point from it. Oh, excellent hustle there for Villanovic to keep that play alive, coming all the way over to the table. And a timeout called by Michigan. Sends it over with the right hand, clipping the tape. And a beautiful setup for Boney to come through with the kill. Boney is a promising player for the Wolverines. As only a sophomore, she had a standout freshman year. Just in the fact that she can really get a good handle on the ball, have a high court awareness for the Wolverines. Setting across, the slam comes from Williams. The aggressive approach as Williams swings the right hand and gives Penn State back the serve. Looked like was hit there was Amber Beals. Just took a beeline from Williams there. You can definitely tell the power behind her behind Williams' swing. Yeah, you just saw another look there as Williams was able to connect from the side. As a volleyball player, sometimes just getting hit in the side of the face, if it bounces and ricochets off your forearms is painful, getting it directly to the face is definitely on a higher level. Attack from Robinson is received by Penn State. Back to Williams, it's clipped at the tape. This time Murray sending it across. Back to Williams, it's blocked at the tape. Scotty Johnson in on the block. A double block with Robinson. So Scotty Johnson will take the serve here for the Wolverines. After teaming up with Jess Robinson on the block. Taking her time to jump serve with the left hand. Elisaya setting up Williams. And stayed able to keep it on the Wolverine side momentarily. Blocked once again, this time Robinson. Another double block as she has been making some noise at the tape thus far. So far, Michigan on the block, they've been able to anticipate the Nittany Lions more in terms of their strategy that we've talked about is using all of their players and using that versatility. Now the Wolverines are starting to anticipate those moves and get better blocks off of the volleyball. And pardon, that was Kendall Murray in with that block as well. As the Wolverines will surf once again. Inside, Williams down the line, but the point will go to Michigan. Making contact with the antenna as she tried to come through and sneak it down the line. Yeah, she couldn't quite get her approach back in the ideal position. You can just see as she swings her hand down in the follow through, it just happens to clip the net. A service there from Michigan will snap a run of three consecutive points for the Wolverines. The Nittany Lions will make a substitution as Zoe Weatherington checks back in. So Lisa and Lazaya will be back to take this serve. Ten service aces on the season thus far for El Lazaya. The grad transfer from Cal State Bakersfield into the back row. Light its approach from the Wolverines. And State follows with one of their own. Nice roll shot. As the Nittany Lions are caught out of system and the Wolverines will take it back. Yeah, communication just wasn't quite there in terms of the execution for the Nittany Lions. And right now, there seems to be a little bit of confusion as to how to handle some of these balls coming from Michigan. They're really able to get a good idea of how Penn State is working right now. Ann Arbor native Kendall Murray will send it over the net. Down inside, and the overpass sends it back into Penn State's territory. Big swing once again from Williams. She's met at the net and gets it back down on the opposite end. Trammell and Williams combining with the joust of the net to give Penn State the point.
was great touch by Trammell and Williams there. They're able at the joust of the net not be tempted to put too much power on it, just touch that ball with the fingertips and let it drop to the hardwood. Really great read by the two Penn Staters. Jillian Grimes to serve once again for Penn State. And she'll pick up the service ace. It's her 11th of the season as it went off the arms and out of bounds of the Wolverine defender. So Grimes once again, the freshman from Illinois. Into the back row, this time received by the Wolverines. Blocked at the net and out of play. Bertowski coming through with the kill. Take another look at this one. Yeah, just ricochets off the fingertips of Penn State there, of Stark, and is able just to get it to ricochet out of play. Jess Robinson sending it down the line. An overpass from Penn State. And an F violation will be called as the Wolverines will gather the point. A lot of back and forth here in this first set between Penn State and Michigan. Both looking to remain undefeated in conference play. Big swing coming across from Stark and it goes off the arms and out of play. Stark once again, a name that we've been saying quite a bit in these last couple of points. She's been utilized quite a bit both at the net and behind the 10 foot line. She's been able to get really into those, into those swings there and really find her touch. Bilinovic for Penn State. Sails it back to back, a service error for the Nittany Lion Libero. And once again, Michigan will take it back. So May Protofsky, four service aces for her last night in 15 serving attempts. And the Michigan win over Rutgers on the road. To the back row she goes, right down the middle, Penn State has a response. Off the fingertips, the swing from Merzik. Goes out of bounds. A point for Michigan. Yeah, it was a tough call by Penn State. Sometimes whenever you're going to anticipate the block, you want your back row players to inch up to anticipate a tip. But in that case, it was a great read from Michigan in order to just hit it enough to ricochet it off the fingertips. Dug out in the back row by Penn State. Weatherington, cross court attack. Down the middle, the kill goes to Murray. Wolverines have worked all the way back and tied this set. A 3-0 scoring run for Michigan. And once again, Protofsky with the serve. Jump serve with the right hand. Received in the back row. Elisaya sets it back for Stark. And working around Merz, it goes to the roll shot. Down the middle right. Through the heart of the defense, Allie Holland gets the kill. That was great by Holland. She was able to get a lot of power behind it. And something I've been noticing in these last couple of vault of rallies is that Penn State's starting to play it safe. They're not going for too difficult of shots right now. So they're really starting to play it safe, and Michigan's anticipating that. Roll shot, nice effort of hustle from Bilinovic. And she sends it over with a free ball. Now Merzik, the kill from cross court. So much velocity off the swing from Merzik. It was an absolute bomb, just cross court and just clips the line. Any part of that white line is in play. Just sails past Bilinovic. That was a great way to end. That was a great play by Merzik. And Merzik. One of the most talented players on this Wolverine roster sends it over. Near side kill from Boney. Jackie Boney comes across off the easy set. And the Wolverines have their first lead of the first set. Penn State's rotation is starting to leave a few more vulnerabilities than I believe Katie Schumacher Crawley would like in this particular rotation. Merzik. Serve goes out. 
A service air, the 11th of the campaign for Jess Merzik. Grimes checks out for Penn State. Checking in is Williams. The serve comes from Stark. Back set there, and Boney has the kill once again. It's a nice back set from Maddie Down to set up Boney. She's getting very comfortable in that corner. She is. She's finding all of these different vulnerabilities now in Penn State, and they seem to not be anticipating those moves as much as they were in the first beginning of sets. Right there, Ali Holland with an answer of her own. Holland with the big swing, picks up her third kill of the match. Cross-court kill for Ali Holland, and she'll take the serve. Into the back corner, it sails long. Her goal was to clip that back corner there. Official didn't quite see that it was in bounds. A little bit of confusion on Penn State's side, looked like. Scotty Johnson taking the serve for the Wolverines. Johnson, the junior setter out of Dayton, Ohio, floats it into the back row. Nice little dump from Elisaya. She sneaks it across. That's one of Elisaya's great tricks up her sleeve. She's utilized it in many previous matches here in Rec Hall, and it's a great tool to really start to change that momentum in favor of Penn State. It's the left-handed approach for Elisaya that makes her so unique with those setter jumps. As she sends it across with the serve, big receive from Villanovic, and it flies out of bounds out the back. As Michigan picks up the point off the kill. Right now, Michigan is doing a great job of not letting up on their power swings, and it's starting to th throw Penn State off in that way, is that they have so much power behind those swings that it's hard to return, and they're starting to lose that connection that they had. Elisaya sets a swing from Williams. Merzik on the opposite side, blocked at the net. Free ball goes over, and Penn State will follow with one of their own. Down the middle was Robinson. Williams blocked at the net. Sent back through by Bertofsky and a point to Michigan. That's very interesting. Because it did look like there was a double hit on Michigan's side earlier in that rally. That double hit is what was called against Penn State to stop the rally. Now Kendall Murray sends it into the back row. Back into the middle and Williams can't quite get it over the net. Penn State once again caught out of system by the Wolverines and it looks like a timeout will come for the Mindy Lions. Yeah, right now Penn State's starting to lose steam. As mentioned before, Wolverines are not letting up on their serves, or on their serves and their swings. Murray with the right hand. There's the dig from Villanovic right down the center comes Taylor Trammell. Exactly what Penn State needed. There was that glimpse of power there from Trammell's swing. Something that they started to lose as Michigan began creeping back up and eventually taking the lead. Trammell really making a statement for the blue and white. Can Penn State go on a bit of a run here? Merzik, received by Villanovic. Elisaya sends it across, but Stark had not sneak it in at the back corner. The hitting air will give a point to the Wolverines. That is the seventh attacking air for Penn State thus far. It just goes a little bit wide, but in this particular instance, when you're down in the first set, you really don't want to be overexcited and overdo your swing, which is what Stark did, and have it go out of bounds. 
Brooke Humphrey serving there for Michigan. Blocked at the net as Zoe Weatherington tried to sneak it through. Jackie Boney in on the block. A double block for the Wolverines as they get to a couple points closer to taking this first set. Humphrey, the junior from Lafayette, Indiana. Does not have a service ace this season as he sends it into the back row. Stark with the attack for Penn State. Michigan follows into the back row. Weatherington blocked at the net once again. Merzik tied in on the double block. Wolverines on another run, just two points shy of taking the first set here in rec golf. Right now, Michigan is really working in their system, utilizing their blocking core very effectively against Penn State. They are improving the Nittany Lions in terms of where they are rotationally wise and, and communication wise, but it needs to improve for, in order for them to come back. Right down the middle, that's what Penn State's looking for. Once again, Taylor Trammell on the opposite end of the kill. Trammell will check out here as Bilinovic will serve once again for Penn State. Leads this team in service aces. As the Nittany Lions could use some. This time it's Michigan on the attacking air. And then the point rather is offered to Michigan. On this near side here, you could clearly hear Bilinovic call out. He was very close to that white line there. So that looks like to be a challenge. Yeah, it appears that Katie Schumacher Codley has challenged that call. And in video review, it is going to confirm the initial call. The point will go towards Michigan as the Wolverines have now put themselves at set point in this first set. It's May Protofsky that will serve as the Wolverines look to take the first set in Happy Valley. With the right hand into the back row. Penn State sends it back across. Merzik into the defense. Picks up the kill and the Wolverines have the first set. But now you're against a Michigan team that has that exact same level of energy and ability to really make it happen. So they have to improve in all aspects. Two teams switch sides as Kendall Murray opens the serve. Overpass sets up the slam. Kashana Williams takes advantage of the Michigan mistake and Penn State gets on the board first. And rather, this point's gonna go towards Michigan, I apologize. It, Williams like actually hit, yeah, it violated. She hit over the net there. A tough break for Penn State as Williams will try again with the attack. This one will get down. And now she'll pick up the kill to tie the second set at one point each. Yeah, Williams definitely, she has that power and she has that follow through that is just really, really nice to see, but Sometimes if your nerves get to you, your hand will just go over the net if you're too close on your approach. Here's Allie Holland. Back row received by Grant. Blocked at the net by Trammell back into the Wolverine side. They take it down the line. Stark pushes a roll shot into the middle of the Wolverine defense. And a double block of the net, pinballs back towards the floor. Trammell once again involved in the double block. Murray there coming from the back row for the Wolverines. Just can't, can't quite get there. Looked like Williams as well in that block. As Holland will serve once again for Penn State. Down the line. And an attacking air for the Wolverines as Penn State takes the point. Holland once again with the right hand. This time received by Merzik. 
And a quick dump down to the floor as Jess Robinson able to get a hand on it. Right now, once again, we've seen that that energy, that really, that quickness from the Wolverines has not wavered as they've switched sides. They're still really able to adapt well on that court and find those vulnerabilities that Penn State still has. Setting up Williams once again. She punches it into the back row. Long set for Merzik. Does much of the same. Back to Williams. This time she prevails. It's a great approach by Williams. Just coming down that sideline there. And you'll see just she goes cross court into a hole that the Wolverines seem to anticipate some sort of tip. They moved up on the net. And Williams saw that immediately and was able to make that decision. Elisaya to serve for Penn State. And quickly, Penn State awarded the point a double hit. A violation against the Wolverines. I think, Preston, we've seen how a lot of calls made against you can affect your team mentally. So it, it'll be interesting to keep a lookout as to if Michigan will feel that same sort of feeling with a couple of tough calls from the officials. Well, Elisaya follows there with a surface error. Similar to the start of the first set, Penn State out the gate hot, getting some points. But some mistakes have allowed Michigan to kind of chip back into this. Just a two-point deficit in the second set for the Wolverines. Trammell punching it into the back row. Merzik through the double block. Back through Williams. Down the center, nice receive from Stark and a free ball from Penn State. Cross court, Villanova keeps it off the floor and Williams pushes it across. Excellent rally between these teams. And the point awarded to Michigan, the fourth hit there for Penn State. It's a pinball around the front but an excellent back and forth there from both sides. Yes, even though Penn State did lose the point there, we talked, Preston, about how important that first hit is to keep a rally going, and Penn State really had great returns from both Stark and Villanovic, respectively. Surf clips the net for the Wolverines. Through the center, but too strong is Taylor Trammell. Point Michigan. Trammell's really able to attack the ball off that second hit, very similar to how we'd see Jackie Bo Boney on the contrary at Michigan, but just a little too far wide there. Protoski to serve once again. Down the line, she sneaks it in, the surface ace. It's the eighth service ace of the season for May Protoski. The first of the night for Michigan. Spratowski is to serve once again. A violation called a double hit. That's the setting violation. And it's called there against Elisaya. As Michigan once again takes points off of the costly Penn State mistake. And Katie Schumacher Colley would like to have a word with her team. After the ball handling air gives a point to Michigan, Protofsky will serve once again. Into the back row, it's another service ace. Off the arms of Angelina Stark. Wolverines are clearly showing why they're ranked number five in the Big Ten in service aces. They have quite a handle behind that service line. It's a six to nothing scoring run here for the Wolverines and make it seven. A third service ace for May Vertovsky. Entered into the match with seven on the season. Now crosses into 10 and has three in this serving set alone. Ben Saint receives this one. Elisaya down the middle, sets up Weatherington, and Penn State snaps the 7-0 skid. 
Right now, as we mentioned, you've got to utilize your weapons up at the up at the front of the net in order to keep things going. And I noticed whenever they were setting up for that serve serve receive, there was actually there were four players in the back row to help with the return, which is important when you're going against a team like Michigan that's so versatile behind the service line. Grimes floats one into the back row, coming across and finding the floor in a hurry is Jackie Boney. She absolutely fired it down to the hardwood. There was no chance of return there, and Boney is known for that. As soon as the ball hit leaves her hand, it's quite difficult to return it. She just has such power and control behind her swings. It's the fourth kill of the night for Boney, who set a new career high last night in the category with 14 kills. They still set to her again, and she gets another. This time, pulling the velocity back, the roll shot drops in for Michigan, and it just feels like everything is clicking for the Wolverines right now. It shows Boney's court awareness of all things, because you can see how she's really able to find those powerful swings, but also in a split second, read Penn State and decide whether a tip would be more effective in that moment. Merz extends it back across. Weatherington for Penn State. Back through, it's blocked at the net. But it goes off the antenna, out of bounds in the point for Michigan. Right now, Penn State is battling itself in a way because of all of these errors is just hurting their ability to stay in line with the Wolverines. Tough break there as it rolled the net all the way to the antenna. All the way across Stark. A sharp swing into the back row goes high. Miscommunication there for the Wolverines. But able to get a clean swing. Back to Stark. Into the center. Weatherington has to reset the feet before pushing it across. Nice block at the net there. A nice block once again. This time Stark wins the battle at the net and picks up a much needed point for Penn State. Yeah, it was well executed joust by Stark. You'll see as it comes around, she's just able to get more of a handle on the ball with her fingertips. And that's what happens whenever you're at the net with a joust. It depends on which player has more control over that ball. It's a second block today for Stark. They set to her again, and she's got the kill. Off the arms of Hannah Brandt and out of bounds. Angelina Stark's got back to back for Penn State. Stark's got that fire under her and the power behind her swings, particularly in the cross court approach. She's really able to just with that follow through, aim the ball cross court, which is one of the hardest balls to return. Villanovic goes down the line. Setting up Stark once again. Overpass back to Penn State. Back to the hot hand, Stark. Rolls it in. Big swing from Stark is blocked at the net. Penn State able to get it back over. Villanovic, this time Weatherington blocked once again at the net. Kendall Murray, Jackie Boney. In on the double block. Great block by Michigan in that case. You see the ball just comes around to Weatherington and is absolutely denied by the brick wall that is the Wolverines at the net. It was a tough, tough block for and Penn State to return. It looked like Boney had gotten more of a piece of that one as this serve from Hannah Grant sails long. The service there will give it back to Penn State. And Cassie Kirshen will come in to serve here. Sophomore from Tennessee. Received by the Wolverines. Big cross court attack. Penn State sends it back through. Blocked at the net, but this one sails out of bounds. Point to Michigan. Kurtowski checks back in for the Hayes in blue and taking the serve for Michigan will be Scotty Johnson. So wet spot is addressed 
on the floor. Johnson now given the go. This five-point lead in the second set for Michigan after the Wolverines took the first one from Penn State. Quick sneak over the net from Elisaya. Sets up Stark, sails it long. All the velocity, but couldn't quite sneak it in before the back line. Yeah, Preston, we've seen that from Stark a couple times so far. She's able to just get a good hand on that ball, but it just sails wide because instead of snapping her wrist farther down in her follow through, it's more of a float over, which makes it go out of bounds. It's now 13 attack errors for Penn State, just four for Michigan thus far. Golanovic unable to receive Kendall Murray's kill. As Michigan picks up another point. Another look at this one. Yeah, just right off the fingertips of Bilinovic, who's clearly frustrated by that strategy there. And right now, if you're Penn State, you really cannot let yourself get flustered over the strength of this Michigan team. They're going to continue that bombardment. The fact of the matter is, can Penn State rise up to that challenge? Server cross for Michigan. Stark sends it back through. Up front, a big swing on the far side. Bertowski once again gets the kill, and Penn State looking to get out of the funk, throw a little different combination out there. Anastasia Kadriashova has checked in for the Nittany Lions. Her seventh match play to the season, the junior from Russia, rather the red shirt senior. Hit into the back row. Kadria Shova sends it across. Back down the middle, Michigan sails it out the back. Right now, Penn State desperately needs that serve back behind their line, and right now this is the opportunity to go for it. And on that note, too, I mean, Protovsky we've talked a lot about as she's tied with kills on the night with Jackie Boney. And then only one above that is Merzik. So they've really been sharing a good amount of touches throughout most of this match. Well, Stark has checked back in for Kudria Shova and she will serve for Penn State. The Nittany Lions look to go on a run. Weatherington, excuse me, that's Williams that comes through and gets the first big point. Williams was absolutely being explosive on that far side, or on the near side, excuse me. She was really able to just get up there, find that power and execute it properly for the Nittany Lions. Once again, Stark. Right into the middle, and Jess Robinson finds the floor. It's a struggle against the Wolverines tonight. Every time Penn State makes a move, makes a powerful decision on their part, Michigan is right back there to show them that they have the exact same skill level this at the is, front of the net. It's a talented Michigan Wolverine squad. As the serve clips the net, Bill Novick is there to receive it, the back set from Elisaya, and Ali Holland gets the kill. Yeah, just right there, you'll see Elisaya goes right to Holland. She's able to just thread it through the blocking core on the Wolverines. And in those moments, she's making that decision. She's just able to find that hole that the Wolverines left. Holland's serve forces Michigan out of system, but they are able to get it back across. But that is right to Taylor Trammell, and she finds the floor pretty quickly. Trammell, I'm always mesmerized by watching her. I mean, I've, I'm a big fan of Trammell ever since she had transferred from Purdue, and she just has a magical way of utilizing and controlling that middle block. Well, I mean, she rises as this ball is sent back through. It looks like she's going down the middle, and then out of the last second, it cuts to the corner as this one sent out by Penn State. A point right back to Michigan. 
that's a big testament to Trammell to be able to have that ball control because she's able in that moment to decide exactly where that ball is going to go when while she's probably got it planned <laughs> three plays back. Brooke Humphrey once again will serve for Michigan. This time Trammell just throwing it across with a free ball. A block of the net keeps it on the side for Michigan. Once again blocked at the net. Trammell and Williams, this time Williams slams it home. Right back down on the maze in blue. And Williams picks up the point for Penn State. Williams and, Tr and Trammell are just waiting for it right there. And we haven't talked too much about Penn State's blocking core, which has been a solid foundation that the Nittany Lions have built on with Trammell, Williams. You can see Weatherington there too. So we haven't talked about them too much in the night, but they are truly a very reliable resource for the Nittany Lions to use in this case. So Lisa Alizaya into the back row. And back through Michigan comes in with the kill. Protofsky once again. It's her sixth kill of the match. Excuse me, it's the fifth kill for Protofsky. There's a serve into the net. Protofsky can't get it over. And if you're Penn State, you're looking to capitalize on these mistakes. Yes, there's been a few made tonight by Michigan, but it doesn't feel like Penn State's really been able to settle in and take advantage of these opportunities. No, I completely agree, is because once they get an opportunity like this, you still have to remember that Michigan's not backing down. They haven't shown any signs of going on any, you know, error runs, if you will. So Penn State really just has to utilize that skill and opportunity the best that they can. Point right there, going right back to Michigan. The Wolverines are knocking on the door of a two set to zero lead to open up this night here in Rec Hall. Merzik, set up Stark, and a massive receive, but it cannot chase it down into the seats, and Stark gets the kill. Absolutely great approach by Stark. You'll see Elisaya sends it far over the other side, just floats it to Stark. She's able to get that power behind it, send it down to the hardwood almost, but it is returned from Michigan, just sails off into the fan stands. 22 kills for Penn State on the night. Logged at the net and sent back up by Weatherington. Roll shot and a free ball sent back. Diving effort by Grimes, but the point coming to Michigan. That's Jackie Boney's fourth block of the night. There, she's able to just get a hand on it, as well as Kendall Murray. They're just able to send it right straight down on Penn State's side. No chance of returning that there. And a Grant. And out of bounds from Angelina Stark. Stark with five kills, but four errors tonight. Stark will check out here as Kadria Shova will check back in. Right now, a bit of ball control is Stark's problem right now, and it's beginning to plague her attempts. Back to that, Kadria Shova. Right down the middle, easy like Sunday morning for Jess Merzik. You could hear that slap on the ball from here with headphones on. That's how great of a contact that Merzik made on that volleyball. Set point for Michigan once again. Pushed over by Penn State. Merzik blocked at the net, kept alive by the Wolverines. Chance for Penn State as Holland gets a piece of one. Back through, blocked. Joey Weatherington getting a piece of that one. And Penn State picks up a big point. I believe Allie Holland was also on that block too, as she's third in the Big Ten for blocking and also third in the Big Ten for solo blocks. She has six, according to the Big Ten, before this match. Cassie Kirschen, still set point for the Wolverines. Blocked, 
through, slammed through the block for Michigan, and the point will go to the Wolverines. They have taken both of the first two sets here tonight in Rec Hall. Now, you can't just rely on them, though. You really have to utilize that offensive drive at the net. Start net with the first serve and the first point will go to Penn State on the attacking air from the Wolverines. Now, Emma, let me ask you this. Michigan has been great tonight. Has Penn State not been able to execute, or is Michigan over-executing that well so far this evening? Oh, that is a very good question. I would say there's a lot of factors that go into specifically how Penn State is playing. As you can see, they're going through their rotations fairly well. They're communicating even when they're out of system, which is the biggest part of being a libero in the back as well. You see Bilinovic diving for balls all over the place. They're really communicating well. The problem is they're not taking, in my opinion, enough risks. They're not getting enough power behind their approaches as Michigan is really coming out and doing some one-two punch, one, punches. And Penn State needs to match that power, if I'm being honest. Overpass there from Penn State, but Michigan unable to take advantage. Big block. Can Penn State get it across? Yes. Back set and a diving effort that sails over the scoring table off the arms of Kirschen. Pertowski once again getting the big kill. May Pertowski's had herself a strong night, along with Jess Merzik. They both lead the way with seven kills apiece. Off the hands into the back row. Here's Merzik right there. It's been that simple for Jess Merzik tonight. She sets herself up and just so well at executing. Merzik, as you can tell, has a lethal cross-court swing. She approaches the net in a way where she'll torque her upper body and bring it down so that way her arm aims for across the court, which I've mentioned before is one of the most, or is one of the hardest swings to return. And right there, Merzik doing it on the blocking front as well, showing the utility that she brings to the floor. Former Gatorade National Player of the Year in high school is here with Michigan living out dreams that she's had of playing volleyball. This time it's Penn State coming back with the kill to get the point and snap an early 4-0 scoring run. Definitely a player that is similar to Merzik in her power behind the swing as well as cross-court approach would be Kashana Williams as you saw there. Once she times that approach right, she's really able to find that sweet spot cross-court. This time an easy setup. And it's Jackie Boney that gets the kill for Michigan. And going back to what you said on Williams, the Long Beach State transfer. She's a grad student, Big Ten Player of the Week last week. She hits the ball so hard, as you said. As Michigan sends this one into the back row. Met at the net. Alessia can't win the joust. The Wolverines just continue their dominant ways this evening. That was also a bit of an error on Penn State's part. When LSIA went up for the joust, you want to have players behind you to support that, just in case the joust doesn't work out as we saw. So Penn State really needed a couple people behind there in order to support LSIA in the case that it didn't go over. Here's Merzik. Off the hands, diving effort by Holland to keep it alive. And Penn State sends a free ball across. Blocked at the net. Overpass by Penn State. Merzik into a block. Elisaya to Trammell. She's got it. Penn State wins a big rally. Thanks to the right hand of Taylor Trammell. Penn State capitalized. You didn't see in quite in that replay there, but 
Michigan sent over a ball that wasn't as powerful as their last couple of swings, which was a big advantage for the Nittany Lions, and specifically Trammell, to really get a good handle on it after those three hits. So Lisa Alizaya, the left hand. Merzik blocked. Trammell and Williams. Rather Weatherington in on the block. This one Weatherington, she gets it off the fingertips. Merzik slams it down through. Uses her power to go through the block. Michigan picks up another. You can see there, Merzik looking like she was going cross court again, just catching the fingertips of Penn State. And sometimes that's exactly what you want to do. Almost aim for a blocker's fingers in order to get the ball in an awkward top spin and not have it be returnable. Service ace for the Wolverines. You talk about awkward topspin. I imagine that that had something to do with that one, coming off the hands awkwardly. Absolutely. It ricocheted off the fingertips or forearms. And if it ricochets off the fingertips and forearms in a weird way, it's just not going to be able to be played exactly ideally. Coming through, sailing long. Point for Michigan off the hitting air. Preston, too, we've talked about how hitting errors have been a bit of a struggle for Penn State tonight, and specifically having balls go wide has become an issue both for back row players as well as those near the net. Setting back up a quick jump. Scotty Johnson, the setter with a quick little slide and picking up the point for Michigan. Look at this trickery. Exactly, and you can't even tell exactly where she's going with her eye contact, and that's also a big part of volleyball. Players are trained to also look at the eye contact of the setter. Where exactly is she looking? Where could she be possibly setting to? So whenever Scotty Johnson did that, she knew intentionally she was going to dump that ball, but wasn't going to give Penn State any hints that that was her decision. Shana Williams sending one over, but coming back through. Coming off the antenna, the point going to Penn State. Jillian Grimes will take the serve. You can see coming down the line, Boney was able to clip that antenna. First side, a quick setup for Kendall Murray as she comes through with the kill. But the point comes to Penn State. Kill won't be there as this one sailed out of bounds. Just a little too much power on that cross-court approach there. Penn State yet getting another opportunity to send over a serve on their side. Back and forth, Michigan once again. Taking some off of that at the net was Trammell. Back through, blocked by Stark. Stark swinging once again. High tip from Murray. Diving effort there from Elisaya. And a block at the net from Boney. So much effort on both sides, but Jackie Boney brings an end to the rally. Yeah, I can see Stark was actually on her way down in her approach when typically you want to hit the ball right at the peak of your approach to the net. And right there, she was kind of on the downturn, which made it too easy for the ball to just smack right into the Wolverines block. Katria Shova checking in, picks up her first kill of the match. It's a point for Penn State. Still finds themselves trailing behind Michigan here. Already down two sets to none this evening. Villanovic down the line. Nice back set from Johnson. The kill comes down from Merzik. Merzik as well as being a weapon in the at the front of the net, she's also a weapon in the back. Back row attacks have also been a really big part of Merzik's night tonight. Just being able to get that reach past the 10 foot line, white line right near where the Nittany Lion logo is and just able to sail it right past Nittany Lion's defense. 10 kills now for Merzik on the night. The first to double digits is Holland picks one up for Penn State. 
Holland, of course, finds that groove just in the middle there. That's where I like to say her bread and butter type strategy is, is just going right down the middle. She finds that approach right up at the top of the net, uses her follow through just to send it to the hardwood. Floated over by the Nittany Lions. Big kill. And a point for Michigan once again. Another look there as Petrovsky gets a good piece of this one. Petrovsky, Preston, too, we've seen and talked about quite a bit in her ability to just be versatile all around the court tonight. She's got eight kills, one block, four digs. She's been able to take the court by storm for the Wolverines. Service air coming from the Wolverines. As Kendall Murray can't find the line. And another chance here for Penn State to try and take advantage of a missed opportunity. Right now, approaching an opportunity like this, we've seen in the past couple of sets how these opportunities just don't blossom into anything. And right now, they just have to work at a high level to be able to take advantage of this opportunity the Wolverines have given them. Block goes out of bounds. And a point for Michigan once again. Substitutions for the Wolverines as Brooke Humphrey will come in to serve once again. I've seen Humphrey serve a few times this evening. As a specialist. Slams it into the back row. Elisaya coming right through and pounds it through the block out of bounds. What a risky move from Elisaya because she had to torque her body in a very awkward direction in order to get a good handle on the ball. Just twisting her hips over, finding contact with the ball, and able to make that quick decision in favor of Penn State. So Allie Holland will serve for the Nittany Lions. Big off the receive, down the middle, and a violation, a violation called against the Wolverines. Penn State will take the point. You can still see the net shaking just a little bit there. She just I believe that was Boney that had made that mistake there right at the net. Probably clipped it with the heel of her hand. So Ali Holland will follow with a surface air that slams into the net. Just another example. A mistake from the Wolverines is followed by a mistake by Penn State. The Nittany Lions can't seem to grab any traction here this evening. Yeah, it's a frustrating error by Holland especially in a time whenever you're down by two sets and you really need to take advantage of every opportunity you're at the service line. If you can't take advantage of that, then it's really going to hurt you as it is right now. They're down by six. It's another service ace for May Petrovsky, her fourth on the night. Michigan has six, make it five rather, service aces this evening. Just one for Penn State, just another aspect that shows how Michigan is one of the better serving teams in the Big Ten. Right at the net, that one sneaks down on Penn State's side as Michigan will get another point. And Preston, serving is such a crucial part of volleyball and right now. So Pertovsky, excuse me, will serve once again. Mentioned she had four service aces last night. She's matched that now with four tonight. This one received by Penn State, down the middle comes Trammell and she finds the floor in the back. Multiple times tonight we've seen Taylor Trammell sneak one in the back corner and that one was a big one. She's got great ball placement as you said Preston, she's able to find just the tip of the line which is all you need to keep the ball in play and she's shown tonight that she has a very high volleyball IQ in that way and that her ball placement is so precise that she's really able to make those big plays up at the middle for the Nittany Lions. Trammell hitting 250 for Penn State. That leads the way so far tonight. Left-handed serve from Elisaya. Punched back through the block by Boney and a point for Michigan. 
Wolverines right. inching closer here. Right now, she just took it off the fingers of Penn State's middle block there. And once again, it's just another textbook play that's having Penn State struggle right now in terms of being able to return and make any opportunity off that rally. Service air this time, floating ball from Mercy. And a chance for Penn State to break up these points and get that serve back on their side. Right, and Michigan does have more service errors on the night. They have seven while Penn State has four. And yet Penn State has not really been able to get anything going, getting a scoring run going off of those service errors yet. And it can be frustrating if you're head coach Katie schumacher Kali. Overpass back to Michigan. Sets up Merzik into the back row. Elisaya to Kadria Shova. And a free ball back for the Nittany Lions. Big swing from Wetherington. And a roll shot. Wetherington gets a piece of it, but sends it too far back. Just a drop of a roll shot. Penn State can't maintain it. It's unfortunate reflex from Wetherington. Not really her fault in that moment, just the ball had come right at her. And instinctively, you want to just bump it up with your forearms. And in that case, it just wasn't enough control to keep it in play. Weatherington once again into the double block. Wolverines running wild in rec hall this evening. Block was from the block from the Wolverines, absolutely exquisite. You could hear just the thunder, the thunder of the ball coming right off the block there. That's something that Michigan has been able to execute over and over consistently tonight. It was Jess Robinson on the block, but this time it's off the hands of Robinson out of bounds and a point for Penn State. I think a strategy too that Penn State should implement right now is utilizing going off the fingertips of the block because instead of trying to just go through the block as they've tried before, it's not quite working, so let's try and go instead. Just hit the fingertips, that way you'll be able to keep it in play. Kadria Shova gets the kill for Penn State. And the kill prior coming from Alexa Barkley checking in for the Nittany Lions, the freshman. But here's another look, Kadria Shova. Once again, that was a block that just went off the fingertips of the Wolverines. They were able to just get the ball out of bounds to Penn State's advantage. That's something that they've been able to use well tonight. Robinson picks up the kill for Michigan. Cutting into the heart of the defense. Scotty Johnson will take back the serum for the Wolverines. Just four points away from taking tonight's match in three sets on the road at Penn State. Kadria Shova off the block. Quick little dump from Grant. Back to Kadria Shova, and she has it again. Kadria Shova showing, showing that she has this groove going able to come from that front or from that near side and just be able to graze the tape in the process and just keep the ball out of out of the hands of the Wolverines. It's three kills for Anna Sestia Kadria Shofa who has proved to be a spark plug here for Penn State. Right back to the hot hand Kendall Murray. It's Michigan inches closer. Kendall Murray, again, her ball placement as well is at a very is operating at a very high level tonight. Nittany Lions didn't even have a chance to react to her hit. They just kind of stood and watched the ball come to the hardwood, just on the fact that her ball speed is so exquisite. Ali Holland with the response. A big kill for Penn State. Just coming straight down through the block. That was a great read by Holland. She's seeing and anticipating the Wolverine block coming. She's able to get the ball off her hands before the block is able to establish itself and give another opportunity for Penn State to come back. Alisaya has been called the calming presence. She takes the serve for Penn State. It's 
kept alive. And a point for the Nittany Lions. It was rather Mandy Morioka that took the serve. My apologies. Morioka playing in her third match of the season. Coming in in a big spot here. The freshman from California. A block of the net from Holland. Three point run for the Nittany Lions and a quick timeout by Michigan. Of course, Michigan has had the edge so far, but in terms of defense, the back row has been working overtime for Penn State. Right back into it, and Merzik gets the kill for Michigan. Snaps a 3-0 scoring run for Penn State. Wolverines two-point shy. Will come free to serve. Taking some time to capture the moment as she sends it into the back. Back through Holland, goes soft. Michigan pulls it back before slamming it back through. Mercik again. It's match point for the Wolverines. Number nine, Nittany Lions with their backs against the wall. Michigan. The team picked sixth in the Big Ten preseason poll. Into the back row. Coming through, blocked back into Penn State's side. Sent straight back by Williams, and she'll pick up the kill. It's a long run for Michigan, they couldn't chase it down. Right, Penn State right now, as you said, their backs are against the wall, but this team has been able to really work under pressure in sets past and matches past. And right now, this is the time that they really need to step it up and make as few mistakes as possible, including errors. Match point, Holland to serve. Merzik back across, swinging down the middle, Trammell. Back to Merzik, blocked, out of bounds! And Michigan has done it! Down goes number nine, Penn State in rec hall. A three, nothing sweep as the Wolverines march into Happy Valley and leave undefeated in conference play. Yeah, it's just an unfortunate turn of events for a Nittany Lions squad that had risen through the poles, really showed quite early, even from their first match, that they were able to work together well under a new head coach, under a new, under new leadership, and. Tonight, I think, was a little bit of a wake-up call as to the types of things they can try and improve.